Professor Halix's kaleidoscopic antibiotic. Well, I must say, you're looking much better, Professor. Fit as a fiddle. Fit enough to learn a bit more about some of the harmful microbes that are out there. I've got some Staphylococcus aureus cells under the microscope. See them bundled together like grapes. Ooh, that's a very nasty infection. Don't worry. They've been treated with antibiotics and are all completely dead. Dead as a dodo. Mm, they don't look very dead to me, Professor. Hang on. There are still some alive. What's going on? Fancy taking a closer look, Nanobot? Why don't you use the Heli Telly Bubble to shrink down and take a gander? Heli Telly Bubble, ready for launch in three, two, one. Mmm. Well, there's certainly a big crop of Staphylococcus aureus cells in this sample. They look like big puffy balls lurking around in groups. Their shape, large clumps of spherical cells, is very common to the Staphylococcus variety of bacteria. They can double in number every 20 minutes or so. Which means I'm about to get outnumbered. All right, nurse. I'm adding some more of the antibiotic now. And it's a strong one. Hmm. Some of the cells have been affected. They're shriveling and dying. But others haven't been affected by the antibiotics at all. Mutation detected. Mutation detected. Those mutated cells aren't affected by the antibiotic. They are antibiotic resistant Staphylococcus aureus, also known as MRSA. Unfortunately, MRSA bacteria, like some other microbes, is resistant to many types of antibiotics. They're what we call superbugs. I'd get out of there pronto! Superbugs are bacteria which are more resistant to antibiotics and are difficult to kill. There are several different types. MRSA is one. Some E. coli and Klebsiella are others. The antibiotics just aren't working. What can we do? Well, work is at hand to develop new antibiotics, but that can take time. Superbugs can be treated by some last-line antibiotics, but we don't want bacteria to become resistant to them. One easy thing we can all do is help prevent infections from taking hold, and we can do that with good hygiene. Always wash hands before eating, and that includes snacks. Otherwise, it will be more than just food that gets in. And use a tissue when you sneeze, then wash your hands. In fact, as microbes live everywhere, we should wash hands even when they don't look dirty. Our bodies are very good at beating infections all by themselves. And with a little helpful hygiene, we can avoid the need to use antibiotics at all. Because antibiotics are used so frequently, bacteria have had time to adapt and mutate to resist them. Doctors want these drugs to keep working, and to do that, antibiotics should only be used when they're really needed for severe infections, not coughs and colds, most ear aches and sore throats. <laughs> Overusing or sharing antibiotics increases the number of superbugs with mutations which can't be killed by antibiotics or your body's defences. I tell you what, you do not want a load of those resistant bacteria taking over. Ooh, I think I might have a hot soapy bath right now. Professor Halix's Kaleidoscopic Antibiotic with support from eBug and Public Health England. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash or visit e-bug.eu.